than done. Yeah, for so like 60. Yeah. Not a lot. That's true. Guys, have you seen the time? What's the matter? Dude, you said look at the time. It's not that late. What's the problem? You've never been here when the MSC closes, have you? No, I'm usually home by now. Well, either way, you guys need to shut down. I need to close up. Here. Yeah. Ladies and gents, we're gonna be closing the MSC in a few minutes. Please turn off the computer you're on. Thank you. Hey Alex, thanks for your laptop. Hey, no problem, man. See ya. Have a good one. Hey, what's in that room there? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's just storage. <laughs> All right. See ya. Ciao. You're on the grid. What? You came through. Where did you come from? No, wait. I was in the MSC. And I turned on this computer. And now I... Wait, what? Wait, wait. You came from Vani? That's radical, man. If you came through the portal, that means it's still active. We can beat this game together. Getting in is easy, but getting out is a whole different story. Wait. Who are you anyway? Oh, hey guys. I'm Harry. I've been trapped in here for a while. I'm a... I, I was a Vani student. Are you a student? Yeah, I, I'm actually part of the Vani Robotics Club. Who are they? I'm Eli, and this is... Bogdan! We're Vani students like Harry. We came in through the computer like I assume you did. We were working on the computer one day and we found the game. We thought, you know, we'd take a break and try it out, and now we're here. Yep, should have never listened to him. You'd have still done it if I wasn't there. Eh, he's probably right. They're always like this, disregard them. So what's your name anyway? Alex Dojda. Alex Dojda. If you came through the portal, that means that not only is the portal still open, but the program is still running. This is our chance to get out of here once and for all. Wait, so how will we get out? So in theory, it's quite simple. All we have to do is win a competition over the sports complex. So basically what you see here is essentially the Vanya College you're used to. We're still, in theory, located in the Saint Laurent region, uh, 821 Saint Croix. The big difference is, of course, the 6,500 students that you're used to seeing are no longer really around here in this, in this dimension. Um, but basically we have to move quickly. We only have a few hours before the portal closes. Was there anybody else with you? No, it was just me. Great, then we gotta move quickly before we get trapped in here for several years like I did. Yeah, trust me, you don't want to get stuck with this guy. I think we need to see other people, Eli. Yeah, good luck with that. Enough. Are you guys ready to go? Does that include us? Yes. Yeah, sure. So, what do you have to do? Follow me, I'll explain on the way. Walk too fast. Wait, you walk too fast. What do you mean? What do you mean? I should have heard of us. So here's the thing, the rules that challenge of the grid, they're different, they change every year. We've tried this many times in the past, and a lot of people have been derezzed in the process because something always goes wrong. It wasn't my fault last time, I swear. We never said it was. But we know it is. Okay guys, we don't have time for this. We've tried this before many times, and it hasn't always gone well. <laughs> it's never gone well. And we know why that is. Okay guys, stop. We've learned from our mistakes. This time around, we know the rules, and we'll be fine as long as we have your help. This sounds like it'll be kind of dangerous. Obviously, it always is. No, it's really not that bad. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes. You get used to it. So what exactly do we have to do?
Hey guys, you're not Alex. Where's Alex? He's always here early on Thursdays. I don't know, but uh, it just so happened I opened the MSA today. It happens sometimes I do it. Uh, he just, he must be at a meeting or something because he wasn't here today and I don't know where he is. He didn't warn you though? Nope. That doesn't sound like Alex. Hey guys, is that door supposed to be open? Huh. That's weird. What's weird? That computer hasn't been on in years. Why? Well, years ago when Vanya first started around with the robotics competition, people were throwing around ideas for a possible theme and somebody came across Tron on that computer but never opened it. It is said that the person who opens it winds up being trapped inside the game. No one ever bothered to play until one guy called Harry tried playing. And then legend has it that he was sucked into Tron and now he can't get out. Seriously? That sounds made up. Sounds pretty cool to me. Well, the legend says that there are others as well. I know we're still here, but it's not like we're dead or anything. Yeah, but we're almost Guys, in. we don't have all day. In. Every team starts off with a baton, and each baton transforms into a robot. The goal of the robot is to get balls through hoops that match its team's colors on either side of the field to score points. The color of the hoops can be changed by activating the corresponding switches on the playing field. Once all the hoops are of the same color, so six yellow or six blue, the heat will end, signaling the end of the game. During the preliminary match, three robots form the yellow team and compete against three other robots in the opposing side of the field, which form the blue team. Playing pieces or balls, the game will start with 32 balls on the field. Each ball is worth the same amount of points. Each robot will be allowed two preloaded balls at the start of the game and all robots will start at the center of the field, which is a large rectangle. <laughs> Your face is a large rectangle. Eli, be serious. If a playing piece leaves the field, it's considered out of play for the duration of the heat. Robots may not damage the game field, the playing pieces, or other robots in any way. Yeah, try to remember that this time. No, my fault it wasn't bog damn proof. All right, makes sense. But how are we gonna do it though? We've been working on something. Wait for it. <laughs> Here it is! Alex, this is Phoenix. She's our chief engineer. She's been working on a robot. We have to hold a lot of balls to maximize our points, so we're making a large container to hold the balls. Yeah, like that worked last time, right? But now we improved the system so the balls can't get stuck. So stop, okay? Oh, you're using a scissor lift? That's a great idea. Yep, the scissor lift will allow us to bring up the container to the height of the hoops. But what about the ball loading mechanism? Oh yeah, that. We decided to use a conveyor belt style system because it's pretty effective. Especially with these huge balls. Weren't they the same balls that were used like five years ago? Six years ago. You have a bad memory. No, I don't. You do. Yeah, you do. That or you're bad at math. We decided to go for a six-way drive to maximize our driving precision during our performance. Wow, seems great. Sounds like we got a decent chance. So you're telling me that Alex and a bunch of people are trapped in the game and they have to play challenges to escape? You're obviously making this up. Legend says that whatever the players face is the most brutal, deadly, terrifying challenge ever. All right, boys, this is it. Huh, doesn't seem that bad. Okay, guys, this is our chance. Are you ready? We can do this.